my sweet darling. What a precious gift you are to me. How incredibly beautiful you are. My heart swells at having the honor and privilege of being yours. Darling, you filled my heart and my world with glitter and beauty, <laughs> and most of all with love. I can't believe I've made my way to you. It hadn't been a smooth road to get to this day, but it's been worth it. You, my dear, have been worth the wait. Well, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to Andre and Julie's wedding ceremony. We've come to this beautiful place this evening because of our love for Andre and Julie to witness and bless their joining together as a man and a woman in holy matrimony, to be touched anew by a fresh commitment of love between a man and a woman, and to worship God who's made this gorgeous, beautiful Florida rainy day possible. <laughs> Thank you for loving the three of us so fiercely. Because of your love and your patience and your gentleness, I understand Jesus' heart for me in a new way. You're such a sweet gift to me and a sign of God's love and restoration in my life, and I'm so thankful for you and the treasure of man that you are. Today, I promise you my heart, now and always, I promise to see the greatness in you every day and call you up and into everything that God's made you to be. There's been so many times when I thought I wouldn't ever meet you, see you, or I thought I'd end up settling for something less than the best, or that I ruined my chance of ever being with the woman of, the dream, of my dreams, but God in his mercy has brought you to me. My darling, can you believe it's our wedding day? Oh, how we've grown together in love and grace. What a gift to become your wife today. This day I've waited for, for so long. God's restoration is truly incredible and how blessed I am for him to remind me of his epic love for me through giving me you as a husband. I'm so humbled and honored to have your heart and your affections. We've waited a long time and this gift is to remind you God is faithful and his timing is perfect. I adore you. See you soon, your wife. Oh, that's awesome. I promise to see you through God's eyes as the son and the king that God says that you are. I promise to honor you as a general in God's army and to cherish your heart as such. I promise to stand beside you, encourage you, and pray for you as you pursue your dreams. As God births new dreams and desires in your heart, I promise to rel relentlessly pursue them, just like they are my own. I promise to always hold you accountable to the greatness inside of you, to bring light to your strengths and to cover your weaknesses. I promise to come beside you as a wife who pursues Jesus first, knowing that the more I fall in love with God, the more my heart can fully love you. I was thinking before I even wrote this letter of how my heart has expanded, been filled with both of you over these past two years. I can't describe the feeling of my heart expanding more and more with love for you. You two mean so much to me. I love seeing your smiling faces and hearing your giggles and getting your sweet hugs and kisses. I just love you and I can't stop. You didn't know it, but there's a Laylee size and a Kai size portion within my heart, and you two are the only ones that can fill it. I've sat down at the dinner table with you at home so many times thinking of how much I just love you. You two are gifts to me given by God, and you are the best gifts I've ever received. Laylee and Kai, I'm honored to be your dad. I promise to continue learning God's heart for you and sharing with you the truth of who you've created, you've been created to be. I promise to create opportunities for you to encounter the living God in our home so you will learn who he is and be overwhelmed by him. I promise to be present with you to make sure that you are loved, cherished, and protected. I promise to love you both the way that you need to be loved and do so with all of my heart. I promise to give you my best so that my ceiling will be your floor to be all that you've been created to be. I bless you with my love and my affection always. I love you, baby girl. I love you, buddy. I promise to see you through the Father's heart and to always tell you how he sees you. I promise to be your best friend, your number one fan, your constant companion, so that every day of your life you're encouraged to be everything God imagined you to be. I vow to come close to you when you need it and stand beside you when there are opportunities of growth, all while, all while celebrating your strengths. I promise to constantly pursue connection with your heart and to not ever withhold my heart or affections from you. 
With every day that passes, I promise that I will steward your heart with excellence, honor your words as wisdom in my life, and cherish you as the incredible leader that God's made you to be. I've prayed for you before I knew your name or I've seen how incredibly gorgeous you are. You were my prayers long before I held those doors for you at church when I wasn't supposed to be a greeter <laughs> that day. I promise to honor you by being the man and husband God wants me to be that would propel you forward. I promise to choose love, choose to love you in all seasons of life. I choose to forsake all others and connect with you and you alone. I vow to submit to you in love and to serve you in the same way that Jesus serves us. And I promise to grow in love with you every day and to spend life with you pursuing Jesus together, writing love stories to the world about his love through our life and marriage. I promise to intentionally and specifically look for ways to love you the way, in the ways that speak to you specifically. I vow to keep my heart close to yours, remaining vulnerable to you so that God can lead us into deeper connection with each other and with him. I love you. I love your heart, your brilliant mind. It's been an honor to be your best friend, but greater still, what a privilege now to stand beside you as your wife. to give you all of me as I follow in the example of Christ by laying myself down to love, protect, and cover your heart for life. I will live to serve you with 100% of my heart so that you may fulfill your calling and destiny. I will support and celebrate you. To you, I pledge my heart to cherish you deeply and with everything within me till we die to 120. <laughs> I adore you, baby. So now by the power your covenant in obedience to God and in accordance with the laws of this state, I pronounce you, <clears throat> excuse me just a moment, <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride.